I, yeah, I have to be Chris, apparently. Chris. I don't mind being Chris, who's 32. Jesus, he's fucking old in seven, then. Yeah. Well, when you actually play this one, he's 35. It's only because he's 32 in the prequel. Yeah. Um, mine is now stuck on searching for a game session to join. I have sent another invite. Yeah, and I've clicked on it, and I've accepted it, but it didn't do anything. Um, hang on. Do I have to alt F4? I have to alt F4. Let me just load the game back up. And this is another thing I like about uh, multiplayer on consoles. It just works. Yeah, it just works. I don't have to worry about a million settings. No, nope. and you get the party chat and all that lot just built into the system. Well, I never normally use mic stuff. I'm like, no. I only ever use mics if I'm playing with friends and I only ever play multiplayer if I'm playing with friends. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't bother. I'm not a multiplayer person at all. Unless it's co-op. Co-op is fantastic. Co-op is fun. Yep. Right. You're joining my game. You're joining my game. Oh, my God. Right. I think we're in. We're in. We're in, boys. Just gonna... Okay, so I have no idea what's happening here, so... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it just starts? Wow. Okay. Yep. Yeah, there's nothing fancy. Look at him. Look at him. The pair. Oh, look how young she looks there. Uh. She looks so much different. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a fan of her nemesis model. It's growing on me. It was really jarring when I first saw it. Because, personally, Leon and Claire in the, the remake of 2, I thought they did a pretty good job of that. But when, they, they look similar. Yeah. They look very similar, but Jill in three looks totally different. Yeah, she looks nothing like. Um, uh, she's picking a lock. Good girl. Yep. Well, she is the master of unlocking. <laughs> I actually like the fact they show her picking a the lock. There. <laughs> That's quite cool. And we're in a mansion as well. I yeah. mean, I have no idea what's going to happen, so I do apologise if I fuck it all up. That's all right. I can't remember. I haven't played it for eleven years, so. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. We're in. Do I have a map? I do not have a map. And do you know what I remember about this? Nothing. But we do, I do have, have a map. We've got pots to smash. Smash some vases. Yep. Yeah. Link would be proud. Smash these pots. A score star. What the hell's a score star? I was thinking the same. I just picked one up. I think it just artificially boosts your score. I, I don't... Look at this. Look at this. This yeah. is... This is cool, isn't it? This is so cool. It's like being back in the Spencer Mansion. It is. Or I the Arkley they... Mansion. What's this do? Oh. Oh, the, the do you know what this is feeling like? This is feeling like Resi 4. Oh, this this, this, this is weird. I, it's new Resident Evil 5. Whoa! Ooh. New Resident Evil 5. Yep. It's so exciting when you find something new in a game that you've been playing for decades. Um, a dead dude fell down the stairs. Did you see that? Or... He did. He did. And there's a lot of dead bodyguards here. Definitely looks like Wesker's handiwork. It does. Our, our old boy Albert. Complete global saturation. <laughs> there's a herb over here. Nice. Pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh. Grab the herb. There's something, you know, Jill's character model in this is really is good. Kick that door open. Knife that watermelon soap. <laughs> Knife that watermelon soap. Right, here we go. Investigate. Investigate. So much for going this way. Okay. Mm. Wow, this is really resident. -y. Oh, hang on. Look at this. On the chandelier, opposite the chandelier. Ooh. Uh, Come on. How do we get that? I th there you there go. we you go. Got it. You just got to hit it. <laughs> I just wasted like loads wow, of armor so on I it. Get... I guess that's like um, the BSAA emblems then? Yeah. I think they just boost your rank at the end of the game. But I don't Ooh. know what you get. Whether Whoa! He... Oh, he's excited. <laughs> did you get a first person view when you went through there? I did. 
Wow. That that is such a blast from the past. It, it kind of makes you feel like the old door opening scenes. Yeah, I was like, oh, hang on. Should we go check the door? I didn't even yeah. look at the door. Maybe. Whoa, yeah, that every time you go it, through that door, there's a <gasps> first person view. That's fucking sick, man. What about the entrance? Sorry, sorry people watching this. I've never played <laughs> this before, so no, this Let's is all door. this is all new to me as well. This is just a fun run anyway. We just have going. Oh, I'm know. not leaving. Don't open I the door. The don't open the door. Why do I get a feeling there's going to be some dogs jump through? You remember that from the original? Wait, what did I just do? I think so. Oh my god! Go and examine the door. Go and examine the door three times. Three times. Investigate. Yes. Oh my god. I'm not leaving until I complete this mission. It should say. I'm not leaving till I complete this mission. Oh. Does it say a question mark? Yep. <gasps> oh, you are kidding. What oh the my actual god. fuck? What the hell? I didn't know about this. I did not know about this. I thought there was going to be a dog jumping out because there was. I heard a dog. Yeah, that that's very reminiscent of the original. Oh, Capcom! But, please, please, please make make one like this, please. Oh, super sneaky hidden score star underneath the stairs that we couldn't see because we didn't have the awesome fucking camera view. Really? Yes. Although I don't think I'd be able to. Well, this controls exactly like Resident Evil. That's weird. It does. They've done such a job of this. Although uh, I'm every time I'm probably going to have to turn it off. Yeah. Because yeah, it makes you face wherever the camera's looking. So yeah. how, how do we turn this off? I we think we investigate, investigate it, again? it again. Yes. Yes. How right. fucking cool was that? Wow. I never. I did, knew not, know about that. That. I did I. not know about that. Neither did I. I did not know about that. Right. So I saw a super sneaky hidden score star that hmm. I never would have seen before because we had. Uh, nice. Maybe that affects your rank. That yeah, I think it does, right? because um, you get money at the end of each chapter in five. So maybe the higher your score, the more money you get. Which, Where by the way, uh, I've just gone back upstairs again. But I'm just having a little sneak around. Because there's a door we can go through down here, and there's a... There's oh, an assist can't... jump up here. Ooh. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming for the assist jump. But I can't but... believe they put a classic angle in there. Yeah, and I can't believe this game came out in 2009 and I didn't know about that. I <laughs> don't know if this is the way to go. This might be the right way. I don't know. Oh, you, you've got some bullets, so I you've do. got oh, loads of ammo. Oh, that first person mode as you go through the door. Oh my god. Can you imagine what they could achieve uh, if they used static camera angles with the PlayStation 5 and the new Xbox? Oh, don't, don't, don't Can tease you me. imagine how good it could look? I found an MP5. Oh, you lucky boy. Yes, yes. I mean, I don't know what kind of enemies we're going to have in here, I, other than Wesker. I don't cause... remember there being many, but I, I honestly, honestly don't remember any of this. So, <laughs> oh, I can jump down. I'm in a dining room. Oh, if only you could see this. This is so Resident Evil 1. What the actual fuck? It's locked from the inside. Hang on. Oh, listen to... <laughs> well, I am the master of unlocking. You should be able to go through that door now. Look at wow, this in here. Wow, first person view through the yeah, door. Oh look at God. this in here. Look look upstairs. Remind you of anything? A dining room. Oh my God, is there a statue to push over? No. Wow, wow, that lighting. Yep. Patrick's oh memoirs. For a time, it appeared as if Master Spencer would recover from his former health, but fate was not so kind, and now he confines himself to his study for days on end. It has been ages since I have seen him take his meals in the dining hall. I have endeavoured to prepare meals to his liking, and I bring them every, uh, every day to the study. Unfortunately, he lacks the strength to eat anything but soup and other liquids. <laughs> 
I cannot recall a time in the history of this household where the situation was as dire as now. In generations past, the Spencer estate was the nexus for only the most well-to-do European societies or socialites. Now, only a skeleton staff remains to look after a man who keeps himself in vertical, uh, virtual seclusion at one of his many residences. My family has been in the Spencer household service since the time of his great-grandfather. This rapid state of decline would have been unimaginable even just one generation prior. I remember fondly the days of my youth, uh, but that seems like a lifetime ago. It was about 50 years. Oh, that seems a lifetime ago now. It was about 50 years ago, back when my father was the head butler of the household. At that time, I was learning his duties in preparation to succeed him, and there was always some chore or errand that would keep me running around the house. I remember how Lord Ashford... <gasps> Lord Ashford, another aristocrat from a storied family, and one of Master Spencer's schoolmates, Dr. Marcus... Dr. Marcus! Dr. Marcus um, ...would find refuge from the summer heat at this villa. My father and I would accompany them and do our utmost to see what they wanted, that they wanted for nothing. Perhaps because I was the youngest person there, they would take to teasing me, though more often than not they would treat me as one of them. I remember the time Lord Ashford gave me my first taste of brandy. It was on the second floor of the dining hall, behind the stone statues lining the room. I will never forget the... Melif, m uh, m Melif, Melifluous? Melifluous scent. Never yeah. heard or seen that word before. Um, when he opened the bottle. But those cherished times are only memories now. Lord Ashford, Dr. Marcus, and of course my father have already passed on. Only Master Spencer remains, and I'm afraid his days may be few. He's when gonna Master. Get yeah. Through the sternum. <laughs> through the sternum. <laughs> When Master Spencer dies, it will mark the end of his illustrious family, as well as my family's service to his. For now, I can only await for the inevitable. There's a note stuck between the last few pages. Here we go. Password, Password one. one. Ooh. That. I was expecting that closet behind you to open up then, but it didn't. <laughs> Itchy tasty. Yeah. Um, oh, that was that was classic. That Leslie. was so good. Do you know, this what feels... Happened? What happened, man? Yeah, this feels really Resident Evil. Someone was burning something here. This feels so traditional Resident Evil. You can just imagine the emblem there. Mm. Right. It's a, it's, it's a thing of beauty. It really is. I can't believe this is so good. <sighs> oh, this even looks like... Oh, this is the, yeah. The Crow Corridor. What? We've got a save room in here. Ah, oh, there's no yeah. save room in here. How amazing is this? I guess I guess they just used the, the, the uh, what, one floor plan. Good old I... Trevor's floor plan. Yeah. Well, I mean, he a... hit perfection. So, have you got a herb? You have, I've you? got a green, so I can... Whoop, whoop. Nice. And I've got a first aid spray. And you, oh, look, you missed the score star. Oh there shit! Go. In Some... the toilet. <laughs> of course. Where else would it be? Oh my god, Capcom! Yeah. Why did you not do more of this? What the fuck happened? Why did we yeah. get Resident Evil Seven? Yeah. Why couldn't we uh, get? Look uh, at I won't. I won't get angry. I won't get angry. <laughs> it's too easy not to get angry sometimes. It's too easy. Yeah. Discount fear. Yeah. Ugh. I enjoyed That's it for what it was, but... Patrick's Memoirs 2. Did we read that one? Not that one, nope. Okay, I cannot stop thinking about the screams of those poor souls imprisoned in the basement. I administered the virus to all of them as per Master Spencer's instructions one week ago. Whatever they've become now, they are no longer human. I have assisted with multiple experiments at Master Spencer's behest. I do not know of what use a simple butler not schooled in the sciences such as myself can be, but I should be proud that the master trusts me with his important work. He usually has nothing but contempt or distrust for those around him. However, I cannot help but feel a disconnect between how I think I should feel and my actual mental state. 
On the one hand, I am filled with joy at the chance to assist the master in any way I can. On the other, I feel as if I am losing a bit of my soul with each experiment. I see the laser sight there. I assist with. <laughs> the only way I can preserve my mental faculties is by taking time off or by trying to divorce myself from all emotion. What the hell are you doing, dude? Mm. Whichever the case, I must act and not question the master. Duty and honor, that is what is at stake. For generations, my family has been in loyal service to the Spencer household. I will not betray my duties, and I will serve Master Spencer until the end. I have dedicated my life to serving him, and there is no turning my back on that. It is time to check on the test subjects and report on their current condition. To, oh, this basement is going to be full of things, isn't it? It sounds Their current that way. condition to Master Spencer. <laughs> I will carry out my duties, and I will do so honorably. There's mm. no password in there. No, there's no password in there. I'm gonna to have to skip through that again. All right. I thought there might be a password. It's a piano! Oh my god, there's a piano! <gasps> See what's on it? Moonlight Sonata. Do it! Oh, I see that laser sight. <gasps> Seriously. Oh my god, it's oh. opening a secret door. Yep. Come on, Jill. You can do this. You can do this. Oh God! God. It's, this is a QTE. Hang on. This is a QTE. Yeah. So, <laughs> really? F Can I do it? Uh, tr do you want to try? <laughs> I don't. Do I never took piano lessons. Okay, Chris can't do it. Chris can't. And there's do no. It. Re there's no Rebecca. Yeah, Rebecca always gets there in the end. So it's F E. Why is that not working? F. Do you have Do you have a controller plugged in? I do. F. Then F, then E. Ah, I see what's going on because I push E, and what does E do? E brings up the inventory. All right, so it's, oh, that's temp my Xbox on. Let's <laughs> grab the other control pad. Right, there we go. Yeah. Oh my god. How cool is this? This would have blown my mind when I played it. You can see the sort of polish that the PC version got when one of the QTEs kicks you out <laughs> and brings up the inventory. <laughs> it's just like, what? Oh, she's rocking it. Oh no. No. I flumped it. Man, that oh. goes that goes on for a while, doesn't it? It does. I'm watching the uh, One, thing lower. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do something good here. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, Nearly done. 23, 24, 25, 26. Oh, do you have to go in there now whilst I'm still playing? Maybe. Yes. Centaur emblem. Oh, nice. Okay, that was really weird that I had to push that. Hang 20... on, some kind of like red thing there i don't know what that is uh, it's, it's a shootable oh it didn't do anything but it's i'm guessing we need to oh, get that something. might be if you get a lot that might well i picked up an emblem but that might be uh if you get stuck in there because someone can't do the qte ah that makes sense i hadn't thought about doing qtes man there was a piano playing qte this is like this is way better than I remember the other one being. Unless this is the other one, but this is so different. I, I, this is just the toilet, isn't it? Yeah, I will almost say that I didn't play this. I don't remember this. In I the definitely know I started it because I started recording it on the PS3. Mm -hmm. But if we quit out now, we go right back to the opening cutscene. Yes, and there, and there gonna... are no checkpoints. Nope, we're gonna have to one shot this. Which well, there are checkpoints, but there's no carryover checkpoints. Yep. 
That's not okay. A so we got Come on, we got it. wait wait we got the center. Does that go? You in got the... an emblem right there. I think yeah. that would be my guess. Did you ever play? Um, I might have asked you this before, but my memory's shocking. Um, oh, what was Shinji Mikami's new game? Evil Within. That's it. I played the first one and despised it. Mm -hmm. um, and then I obviously watched. Right, we're looking for a crank. Up here. Something with a square could fit in here. <laughs> <laughs> Check that out. That's got to be where the emblem goes. Yes. Yeah, the to Evil the Within center. 2. The Evil Within 2 is massively better. It's what I, the first one should have been. I hated the first one with a passion. Like, yep. I couldn't aim, I couldn't run. Nope. Nope. I hear dogs. I hear dogs. Yeah, I, I would definitely, if you can, give the second one a go because it's so much better. It's scary how much better it was. The first one really was a bit shit. <laughs> right. Investigate. It's locked. Jill might be able to get it open. Oh, I can. I can pick the lock. Is it a QTE? Nope. Oh, thank God for that. Yeah, right. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Anything we can fondle in here? Well, that's obviously a door that's going to open. I found a document. Nice. I'm going to read it to you. Spencer's nice. Memoirs 1. I, Oswald E. Spencer, founder of Umbrella, as well as its chief executive officer, hereby proclaim myself as ruler of all mankind. <laughs> Everyone Little shall... Ego. Little ego. Jesus. Everyone shall prostrate themselves before me, as they once did for the ancient false gods. At least, that was what my destiny should have been. But I did not become a god. I could not sever my ties to my own weak humanity. Instead, my body is being destroyed by this damn disease. The disease of age... It has carved wrinkles in my face like a well-weathered canyon, and my arms are, are like the thin, withered branches of a dying tree. Age has even deprived me the use of my legs. The only chance I'll ever have of becoming a god and shaping humanity's destiny is to stop this disease from continuing to ravage my body. I believe there's a saying about realizing the joys of life when one is at death's doorstep. Sayings like that are for the weak who are going to die. They attempt to mask their fears with pithy aphorism aphorisms, Yes. <clears throat> Mortals can't comprehend uh, what life means for those whose death is not a concern. The ignorant are fond of making generalizations to include those who would not be party to their pedantic musings. I will undo this unjust travesty done to me by time, and I will present myself as the perfect being that will rule all over mankind. I will give them a new set of commandments to govern their... Lo Jesus, get a hold of this guy. Yeah, um, right. All that remains is to find the key to eternal life. The virus manufactured by Umbrella is that key. It suppresses telomere shortening, which negates the function that limits cell division. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in that process is the key to immortality. If the process could be perfected, I have the means available to me. I can realize my ambitions thanks to Alex. Wow. Damn. I lost much in human capital following Umbrella's bankruptcy, but I still have Alex, the best and brightest of them all and the last of my children. I have faith that if, yeah i have faith that if anyone can find a cure for the ailment of time that keeps me from assuming my role as the head of mankind it is alex alex will find a way alex jesus Wesker. so they actually had reference to her back then i mean i probably should have played this back in the day yeah <laughs> there's a big old nine windows 95 computer there let's fire this sucker up where am I going to find the... Th oh, so we need to find three passwords. We've got one. We've got one. We need to find three. So I guess that's the end game door through there that we need to yes. find. But we need to explore the mansion first to... Uh... Oh my god, how good is this? <laughs> oh. oh dear. So they referenced Alex Wesker like a decade before they used her. Near enough. I Can't mean, remember. she was just, just in in the main game. It was just a name, but he's specifically saying who she is and what she's doing in this DLC. Oh, yep. So there's, uh, there's a, a bunch of proximity bombs here. There's a bunch of hand grenades here. I've taken one of each flavor. There's one of each flavor for you if you want it. Uh, do you want some bombs? Because I've got three. Uh, 
I would like to say yes because I know what we've got coming up, but I don't. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Score stat, right. I'll hmm. give you a bomb. I uh, thank you. Okay, I'll just give you three bombs. You That's just cool. You gave me the whole lot. <laughs> That's fine. That's How fine do by we me. Split stacks. I don't know if you can. Hmm. I mean, you are armed to the teeth, my friend. I am. Uh, I, me, not so much. I, I think I should give you the um, the bombs so you have something. Can I give you the machine gun? I'd keep the machine gun. You're a better shot than I am. Well, I don't know. Actually, your your accuracy is far better than you, you give yourself credit for. Oh, look. There's a sniper rifle. You can have that if you want. So oh, we've, what, we've... It's giving us guns. Ooh. What have you got there? Heat what sensitive paper. Oh my god, is that a puzzle? Oh, um, I heard doors stop, opening. Someone's moving. I, I have got the uh, Heckler and Koch PS1, PGS1. Heat sensitive paper. Does that mean we need to find a lighter and a fireplace? There was a fireplace back here, wasn't there? There was, but I'm also looking at those candles. But it doesn't appear we can do anything with the candles. It's locked from the inside. Oh. I think we need to do. Uh, uh, go to the fireplace. Yes, hang on. I got an interesting camera angle from there. Did you? I did. For the first time, I examined it, and it looked like there was something grisly on the other side. But that could have been. I my did eyes. not. I did not get a camera angle, so I assume that was a scare just for you. Yeah, that could have been my eyes playing tricks on me, mind. Because it doesn't look like there's anything gribbly on that side. Right. Where was this fire that you remembered? Is it back in the dining room? You there? Oh. Well, that's a bugger. Um. But I guess we go and use the heat sensitive paper to get the password that makes sense to me okay so Fucking we're back now after that weird crash which we're just going to write it off as one of those let's play things the Let's yeah. Players Curse. The Let's Players Curse. You're playing right. Resident Evil 5 in co-op on the Steam version in 2020. Yeah, that's it's 2020, weird. 2020, isn't it? I think so. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know. All the days are rolling into one, to be honest. Um, right. Where was the dining room? It was through here. Dining room. A dining room. A dining room. I hope that's not Chris's blood. He was our old partner, you know. I love the fucking. Oh, what an amazing game! But as you were, as you going back to what you were saying, we were very lucky growing up when we did, because we got some fucking wicked games and legendary characters. Beast games, Lara yeah. Croft, the Resident Evil folks picked up mm -hmm. password too. Nice. Let's so do it again, we just we just need one more password. So can you imagine growing up today and you've got fucking Fortnite or Call of Duty uh, and just... Yeah, my eldest niece is into all of that stuff. She's yeah. got... <laughs> Funniest thing is, I don't know, She's. I think she's getting ready for GCSE age, but she's got a YouTube channel and she's about a million times more popular than me. Oh, but... kids are though. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I don't talk to them or anything, but every now and then I sort of like check in on how it's doing and she's got like you know all those the, the kid videos the unboxing videos and the, no. what, what you know like club penguin or whatever the fuck it was yep yeah oh man and then she just abandoned it because she got bored and moved on because kids get bored and move on uh-huh all of my nieces uh and shit have got youtube channels as well weird uh... i don't like it everybody's got a youtube channel these days which is fine you know um I've had a few people say, hey, do you think I should do YouTube? And you're just like, um, well, if you want to, yeah. you got nothing to lose. Give it a go. It's, you know, as long as you don't do it expecting anyone to watch. Yes. That was the weird thing for me, especially because I had that one playthrough that was really popular on one game once. Yep. And even then, people don't even watch it. They just watch someone else fucking stream it and pretend oh, really? they're playing. 
which is oh, and, and that's yeah. that's just like fuck you fuck you yeah fuck everything you stand for